Hainan people, also known as Hainanese, Hainam or Hainam Nang, are people originate from the island of Hainan, which is the southernmost and smallest province in China. The former names for Hainan Island include Zuya, Chongya, and also Chongzhou. Hainan is one of the most diverse provinces in the southern China, with about 17.4% of the population being made up of various non-Han ethnic groups. However, because most of the overseas Hainanese are from the town of Wenchang or Bunxiu or Qionghai and Wanning Shi, where these three neighboring towns located on the island east coast, they all speak the similar Hainanese Min dialect, known as Qiongwen, due to its geographical locations that is facing the Qiongzhou Haixia at the north. Hi, my name is Ivan and welcome to Fearless Passport. Before I start this video, I would like to give a special shout out to a friend of mine who had helped me tremendously with my previous Cantonese video and this Hainanese video. He recently launched a Discord community known as Tionghua Chinese Indonesians in Ni Tangren Discord community that is very inclusive of all Chinese ancestry in Indonesia, including Hakka, Hokkien's, Hainanese Peranakans, and even North non Indonesians are welcome to join the Discord community. So if you wish to understand more of the overseas Chinese ancestries or simply interested to know more about the Chinese diaspora, you might find the link down in the description box below. Make sure you check that out. Historically, Hainan was preoccupied by the native Li or Miao, Hmong people, or even Hui people until some Han militaries and officials were banished to the island. Traditionally, this isolated Hainan island was a place of exiles for criminals and also disgraced officials. After the fall of Song and Ming dynasties, a large number of Han people from Guangdong, Fujian and Guangxi in the southern part of the mainland China, they began to migrate into the Hainan island. So these large migrations also brought in soldiers, followers, maids and helpers, causing a topple in the local customary to the Han Chinese culture. The natives were forced into the highlands and slowly became the minorities of the island. By the end of Southern Song Dynasty, Fujian was overpopulated with people with limited lands. So due to survival, a large number of Fujianese flood into Leizhou, Caosan and Hainan from Putian, Quanzhou and Zhangzhou. Due to war and immigration, Fujian refugees changed the population structures of Hainan and eventually the Hokkien dialect spoken by the Fujianese integrate with the locals. In the end, the fusions of multiple dialects from Southern Min, local Cantonese and native Li language formed the famous Hainan dialect. Even there is significant difference between Hainanese cities, for example, raining. Lo ho. Lo. Lo ho. Lo heo. To hao. And sun. Ji hao. Jia hao. Ji hao. Ji hao. Ji tao. The dialect of Wenchang is considered to be the prestige dialect. Similarly to Fujian and Guangdong provinces, Hainan has been a source for immigrants. In the early days, the majority of the Hainanese immigrants were men. Women were not allowed to migrate along with their husbands because they were to take care of their elderly parents-in-law to fulfill the Chinese traditional film custom. Up until 1984, Hainan used to be a part of the Guangdong province. So to many overseas Chinese, Hainan Island is still part of the Guangdong regions as evidenced by the tombstones that write their ancestry as Guangdong on the left and Qiongzhou or Qiongfu on the right side. Among the various dialects groups like the Ke, Guang, Fu and Cao, Hainanese may be the latest wave of immigration to the Southeast Asia. Upon their arrival, the more lucrative trades and also economic niche such as mining had been filled by the early immigrants, so the Hainanese had to look for other job opportunities. Most of them worked as a cooks for the wealthy straight Chinese families, restaurators, coffee shop owners, clothes maker, sailors in cargo shipping industry, 
hoteles and real estate. That is why the traditional occupations identifications of the Hainanese people are the coffee shop owners, the kopi tiam owners. And in Malay Peninsula, early Hainanese migrants first stopped in Penang Island before they travelled to the other parts of West Malaysia, inclusive Singapore and also North Borneo. While in Indonesia, Hainanese people can be found in Pematang Sianta in North Sumatra, Pekanbaru, Batam, Medan, Pontiana, Makassa, Bali, Manado, and etc. There is a reputed Hainanese Chinese school in the famous tourist destinations of Bali Island. It's named as Bali Hainan Trilingual Public School, contributed by Hainanese Chinese Mr. Pang Ting Guo. So Mr. Pang Ting Guo is the third generation Chinese in Bali Island. Now he has more than 400 students in his schools, recruiting not only the Tionghua students, but 80% of the students are the local native Indonesians or Balinese. In this Balinese Hainanese school, Mandarin is taught to the students regardless of the natives of Tionghua in descendants so that even students from lower income families they get to master another foreign language. On the other side, in 1952s, approximately 20,000 overseas Chinese refugees from the Southeast Asia moved to Hainan Islands after the communist government issued an invitation for overseas Chinese to return to the motherland and approximately 1,500 Indonesians came to China in the early 1960s after the failed communist coup in Indonesia. The Chinese authorities resettled one group on Hainan Island and the other one in Fujian province. After generations of living in Indonesia, these Chinese returnees, they all speak Indonesian and are currently now building a small Indonesian community by remaining their Indonesian lifestyles and culture in Hainan Island. The famous Wenchang chicken was brought over to Southeast Asia and became the famous Hainanese chicken. So in Indonesia, the Hainanese chicken rice, the chicken rice itself is more famous than the Hainanese chicken. Chinese in most parts of the country serve Hainanese-style nasi campo that always comes with an option of the Hainanese rice. Other numerous signature dish created by Hainanese after their migrations to Southeast Asia such as the kaya toast. The famous half-boiled egg that can only be found in Malaysia, Indonesia and Singapore is also invented from the overseas Hainanese people in the Kopitiam. Most Malaysian like my age is very used to the half-boiled egg as our breakfast because when we were very young, most of us came from a low to middle income family whereby eggs is the cheapest source of proteins to afford so even the bowl used to serve with the half boiled egg must be flushed with coffee or milo so that none of the egg yolks or egg whites is wasted the Hainanese coffee is also one of the most unique feature of Kopi Tiam. When these Hainanese migrants in Malaysia, they were exposed to the habits of coffee drinkings by the foreigners, they developed their own brewing methods as opposed to the Western style coffee. So the preparations process of Hainanese coffee involves baking and frying the coffee bean with sugar, butter, corn and sesame so that the end product gave a very rich and mellow taste. In the early 20th centuries, the Chinese immigrants returning from Malaysia, they introduced rubber trees to the islands. And after 1950s, the state farms were developed and Hainan is now producing most of the China's rubber. Also, in conjunction with the coffee culture from Southeast Asia, some of the Hainanese brought in coffee plants back to the islands. And now, the island itself is very famous in producing Robusta beans. Both rubber and coffee are the contributions of the overseas Hainanese people from the Southeast Asia, especially from the Malaya. Even the world-famous Singapore sling is also invented by a bartender of Hainanese ancestry and his name is Nyam Tong Bun. There are also special surnames that commonly exist in Hainan Island only. According to the statistics, many Hainanese who have surnames largely found only in Cantonese people such as Mai, Guang, Mo, Tan, Qin, 
Mei, etc. They all have the ancestry from the Cantonese immigrants who immigrated into the Hainan Islands in waves especially during the Ming dynasties as indicated in the historical records and their jiabu. My next video is about the Hokqia and Hokqing. So if you do not want to miss any of my Chinese history video, Chinese diaspora, please turn on the notification bell and I release a new video every two weeks. Share this video to three of your Hainanese friends and relatives that be really helpful in supporting my work on YouTube. So any shares, comment and subscribe is very very helpful. And thank you very much and I will see you in another two weeks time. Bye!